from the other side and we are on a year of travel. We're about three months in and we just took two weeks off in Bangkok and now we've arrived to Manila, Philippines. We arrived last night at midnight. We're gonna be here for 60 days because we're obsessed with the Philippines. Hashtag it's more fun in the Philippines. But first before we go to all the great islands, we're gonna stay here in Manila and help package relief goods for people who are affected by the eruption of tall volcano. Look at the dog, look at the dog, look at the dog. Oopsie! Hi! Oh my god! Hi! Look at that butt! While Anna plays with the dog, I want to tell you guys, this isn't our first time to the Philippines. We spent 30 days here about two years ago when we were studying abroad in Bangkok, and we absolutely fell in love with this country. We traveled through all the islands, but this is our first time actually in Manila. We got in last night at midnight. We didn't eat since 11 a.m. yesterday, so it's been 24 hours since we had a meal. We saw Dunkin' Donuts across the street, and now Ian's eating my other donut. Anna literally just made it jump out of its cage, and now it's here. I <laughs> got your belly. Yeah. You're like my dog in the back home. He's a boy, though. You guys would be best friends. <laughs> they don't even know I have them. <laughs> As we're heading to the Philippine Red Cross, I want to say we were a little nervous coming to Manila after all the news about Tel Volcano. A lot of people were texting us, especially our moms that didn't want us to come here. And we were looking to get our flight refunded so we could head to another island or something. But we saw this as an opportunity to come help because for our New Year's resolution, we said every month we're going to try to give back to a country other than taking from it, like taking all the natural beauties and the fun. So we're going to use this as our first opportunity to help people here in the Philippines. So I guess there's a warehouse where they're packaging food and whatnot, but the good thing about it here in Manila right now is that it's blue skies. It's not raining down ash like you see in the news. Thank God that stopped. Right now we're just signing in and then they're going to orient us to what we can do to help. This is the biggest warehouse ever with a lot of people helping package goods. And then there's a truck on the back side here. Welcome to Philippine Red Cross. I'm Mr. Peter Miles of Yesta, volunteer engagement officer. So what we're doing here for the volunteers would be Either you sort, you do the inventory, or you, you pack. So the packing here is we're producing a hygiene kit and a food box or a food family box for food items. The Red Cross would have the same as the government's regulation as well. So the rice, the corn, beef, the beef, those are these news. So Anna and I station is right here. Peter right here is going to show us exactly how to package a box. And then we're going to take it from there. We got our little system over here, we got the rice. Five kilos of rice, a pack of sardines, a pack of meatloaf, a pack of corned beef, and then noodles and coffee. But we're out of noodles and coffee, that stinks. But that's good, that means they've packaged a lot already. friend Eleni, she's here volunteering today. We wanted to ask you how was Manila affected after the eruption? Well actually the first day it happened there was a lot of ash fall uh, mostly in Laguna and in Manila there there was a thick thick layer of ash on the roads and it almost covered all the cars and the buildings. Wow. After that they had to clean it up. Who cleaned it up? The people, oh, community. Really? Oh, that's we awesome. have a term here called alikatal. Okay. Community help to clean, to help other people. So we mostly depended on ourselves actually. Wow, that's really this. great. Because yeah, if really you great. wait for the government, it will take time actually. So yeah. you, know, you have to do it yourself. So like Alani said, two days after the eruption, up to two days, there was ash fall in Manila. But since we've been here, there hasn't been anything. There's nothing in the air. And we, it's all thanks to the community cleaning it up themselves. It's really, really great. If you're a tourist, don't be afraid to head here. It's all safe, all good. I know a lot of you out there will be interested in how you can help. Although you can't physically come to the Philippines, a lot of you, community's great here. They're doing a lot to help. But the best thing you do is donate. And we'll put a link in the description below. But that's easily the best way to help here is donate so they can buy more food, buy more clothes.
Our station over here has been waiting for noodles to put in that set of boxes that Anna's working on right now. New shipments of goods, clothes, food, whatnot are coming through that shipment door right there. Now we're gonna put all these noodles in each of these boxes that we didn't have before, starting now. Before we leave, I wanted to say I am so sorry to everyone who's affected by the tall volcano eruption. Our prayers go out to you. We hope that it all passes over pretty soon. I also wanted to say that all of the people in the Philippines community just have such great hearts. There's so many people who came here today to help. Everyone's very lucky to have such a great support system here. Now we're gonna go get some food. I think we're just gonna go to a mall. We have just arrived at one of the malls here in Manila. It's called Mega Mall. I want you Filipinos to tell us what to eat here, the local food and non-local food. We like everything, but I know last time we didn't try too much local food. We always tried chicken adobo, of course, some seafood. Let us know down in the comments below what we should get. Let's check out the mall. Holy, it's a robot. Hello, Did it talk to you? This is the future, guys. Big chat. Hi, I am Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, thanks, Mom. I'm gonna be totally honest, we stopped at the first restaurant when we walked in and that was Shake Shack. <laughs> but it's very, very popular back in America and we haven't even tried it yet there. So we're trying it here in the Philippines first. I Look how good this looks. I've had it once, but I didn't get a burger. I got like a chicken patty. Ooh, it's like we're at a diner in America. Look at how good this looks. Ooh. Sour gate from Shake Shack, our mega manga. Oh what? my gosh, you're Hi. too nice. Somebody likes this thing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What is it? I don't know. It looks really good though. That was random. Oh. First of all, the burger is freaking amazing. I can't tell you guys enough how much I like burgers and I miss home so much because of it. Over here, they make a pretty damn good burger. It's like caramel and then there's mangoes on top. Just give me it. The reason we're always gonna come back to the Philippines is because the people here are the nicest people in the entire world, and we love them. We love talking to them, and they speak English, which makes it easier. Language barriers can be tricky, but you definitely get to know a place better if they speak your language. If you're from America, you like your things. If you're from Thailand, you like Thai food. If you're from the Philippines, you like Filipino food. Oftentimes, we miss our little, you know, American treats. Look behind My favorite her. is pretzels. We never find pretzels over here. Not saying that they don't have them anywhere. They do, but you definitely have to look for them. Oh, I had a dream about these last night. I think it's a sign that we have to get them. The hint of lime Tostitos have to be the best tortilla chip in the world. Tonight is going to be a little movie night for us. We just got in last night, so we're definitely still a little tired. After this, we're going to go home and have a little movie night. We're back at our Airbnb, and we just binge-watched our favorite show right now. About to hit the hay, but we have huge, huge travel plans here in the Philippines. We're going to be traveling all over for 50-plus days, and we can't wait to bring you along. Make sure to check out our Instagram presets that Anna created on our website. Comment down below what you think. Like this video. We will see you in the next one. Yip, yip, woot, woot. Reba!